Yo, what's up guys? Jovi back with another video. Today I'll show you how you can make better melodies um, and amazing melodies for your beats inside FL Studio. So I have a beat here. This is a really simple beat. Uh, I was going to make a nav type beat. So um, I laid on the chords and I had the drum loop going on. But the, I thought this beat was missing something. So why not make a video on making this beat fuller and sounds more rich and sounds cool. So without any further ado, let's hear the preview of this beat. So this beat goes like this. So I thought this beat uh, is missing something. So this is the pattern and the chord progression that I use for this beat. And this is really a simple beat. Um, it was using so much instruments. So I just bounce it to a wave file and I placed it down in the playlist like this. So these are the sounds that I used. And I thought uh, we should make a melody on top of it. So when it comes to melody, I strongly believe in a theory. Um, I hope many of you will disagree with me this, but uh, I still believe and it works for me. When it comes to melody, all it uh, it comes down to 10% notes and remaining 90% rhythm. So if you don't know what a rhythm is. Um, notes we have 12 notes in a keyboard or whatever the instrument maybe it is uh, we have 12 notes but we have many number of rhythms so if you if we can uh, make different rhythms that is attractive we can make good melodies out of it so I have uh, something in my mind so let's um, this is the sound that I'm going to be using and this is the other sound so I thought uh, we can make a melody on top of it so what usually what I do is I listen to the beat a um, couple of times so that I can set the mood in my mind so, um, and I will make the melody that uh, fits right into the beat so uh, if you have a beat lay down you just listen to the beat a couple of times and set your mood to that beat and just uh, do something else don't concentrate uh, don't stress yourself too much on the beat on making uh, a melody on top of it just relax yourself so i have a melody idea so i'll play that for you if if you don't know i have a video for this i have a cheat sheet to to play keyboard or uh, <coughs> excuse me or midi keyboard inside apple studio so if you i don't want you to miss that i'll leave that cheat sheet uh, pdf down in the description and a video tutorial for that in the description down below please check that out uh, i have i want this uh, beat is in e minor so i have set the root note to e5 so you I, I hope you won't understand this but i highly recommend you to watch that video so you will understand this so i have this in set to e minor now if i play anything in keyboard uh, it will be in E minor or I'll play only the white keys so let's play a melody so let's listen to the beat one more time I'll play a melody on top of it So 
so i think i've got an idea so this is another sound uh, from expand so what i'll do is i'll just play that for you i'll select this portion yeah i'll select this portion and i'll play the melody in my keyboard So that's the melody. I'll go ahead and I'll record this um, into this pattern. I'll select this pattern and I'll select this this sound and I'll hit record notes and automation and I'll hit on the metronome. So let's record. So we have got the sounds now. So let me check what you have got. Okay, this is terribly half grid. Let me go ahead and quickly fix this. Fix this. So this is what we have. Let's listen to this once. So let's listen to this with context of the beat. So that sounds cool. So what I'm going to do is I'll copy this and I'll paste it in the other sound and this is what i do exactly i just change up the sounds and i'll keep the melody the same because uh, the re the more you repeat your melody that the more it sticks to the mind of the listener that's what i feel so let's listen to this in context So that sounds good to me but the change up between these this these two patterns is it's so obvious so what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce that sound like this and I'll lower the velocity so what this does is so it it just makes the listeners mind to get ready for the drop or the beat drops so Let's now listen to this from the beginning.
so this is it guys uh, this is how i can i'll make melodies and i hope this helps you in any way just uh, listen to the beat uh, a couple of times so that you can set your mind to the mood of the beat and just relax yourself that melody will just come right out of the mind just follow the cheat sheet so that you can start playing the keyboard um, right away so that you can make melodies so one trick what i do is i just play i'll just play the keys on keyboard and later i'll just edit it inside the piano roll i'll just i i'll just um, let me show you how what i mean i'll just i'll just uh, play this and see what notes you can see it here what notes i'm playing i'll just uh, type down the notes using my mere mouse so this is also one trick that i follow every time so i hope that this helps you in any way guys if it helps you in any way just give it a thumbs up and subscribe to jovi music for more awesome tutorials like this i'll catch you in the next video until then it's jovi signing off peace